Hey guys, Alec Weinstein here with a fun video. I was recently in the market for a new cell phone, so I went browsing around and saw that these new Samsung Galaxy phones are shooting 4K video. So I immediately went out and bought one, and here's the test. The 5D Mark III shooting head-to-head -head against the new Galaxy Note 3. Here's the test parameters. Uh, the 5D Mark III, I'm going to be shooting it at full 1080. I'm going to be shooting at 5600 white balance, um, a neutral picture style uh, with flat settings, no filtration. The lens I'm going to be using is the Sigma 24 to 70 f 2.8. The Galaxy Note 3, I'm going to be shooting it at 4K resolution. The camera is in auto mode because I'm going to be using the default camera application. Now one thing I know that these small sensor cameras do in cell phones when they're in auto mode is in a well-lit environment like these daylit scenes, they, sh they pump up the shutter. So you'll see I did that here. I'm at a 200th shutter at an F13. So take a guess. Have a look at the detail. Have a look at the quality of the image. Which do you think is which? top is the Galaxy Note 3, the bottom is the 5D Mark III. Here's the next setup. I'm going to be shooting some flowers about six to eight feet away from the cameras. Have a look. Which image do you think is better? And the top is the Galaxy Note 3, the bottom is the 5D Mark III. Here's a macro shot. Again, have a good look. Take a guess, look at the depth of field, look at the color, look at the detail. Top is the 5D Mark III, bottom is the Galaxy Note 3. Here I am doing a little latitude test for you guys. I'm gonna stand in the shadows. To take a look at the detail in the shadows, the detail in the highlights, overall quality of image. Top is the 5D Mark III, bottom is the Note 3. Here's a nice wide of the beach. What is your verdict? Top is a Galaxy Note 3, bottom is 5D Mark III. Here's a latitude test for you. Shooting through a shaded area on a path where we have bright sunlit background and shady foreground. Look for the detail in the shadows, look for the detail in the highlights. Bonus round. Now we're going to shoot 5D raw. We're going to stack it head to head. Galaxy Note 3 on top, 5D on the bottom. Take another look, shooting 5D raw here. 5D raw on top, Galaxy Note 3 on the bottom. Once again, have a good look here guys. This one's pretty interesting. 5D on top, Note 3 on the bottom. Now, just to highlight what we're really talking about here, if we zoom in at 200%, get an idea of what kind of resolution we are really working with, with the Note. This is its native resolution. For the sake of the camera test, disregard the jitter you see here. That's caused by the wind that was out there that day. The 5D was on a nice tripod while the Note was on a cheap light stand. So that's why you see that. Really these cameras, it's not comparing apples to apples here. They're used for two very different things, but this does highlight the fact that the arms race to 4K is in full swing. It is now enabled in phones, which is pretty unbelievable. I'm still kind of in disbelief. The conclusion that I come to is that sadly, the Canon 5D Mark III as a video camera is nearing the end of its useful life because its image doesn't even hold up against a cell phone anymore. Thanks for watching. See you next time.